the most important thing I'm doing is to be a mom to them. They never had a mom since they were very little boys. After surviving unspeakable horrors during an epic 14-year journey from war, the Sudanese lost boys today face the challenge of building a completely new life in America. I, I didn't know how to read and write or speak English. Fortunately, Gabriel met realtor Rita Hudson, whose desire to help him became Gabriel's Dream, an organization that supports the over 400 lost boys living around Phoenix with medical care and college scholarships. It began because Rita wanted to give Gabriel his smile back. I was missing the lower teeth. You know, the tribe had a tradition of brutally removing six lower teeth. I mean, they took them out with hot metal. So I said, I will get you permanent teeth. After a year, Gabriel finally got his new smile. Now I have a good smile, and I feel like I'm one of the community members. Some of the lost boys, they see me, I have a lower teeth, and they say, where do you get the lower teeth? And then I say, my mom. Can I have your, your mom for a number? So then they all said, well, would your mom help us too? Now we have over 100 dentists who've contributed well over a million dollars in dental care. John, how you doing, buddy? Very good, very good. How are you? The other aspect of the program is a scholarship. They all want education. We're up to probably close to $70,000 now in scholarship funds that we've given them. I am actually studying chemistry. I want to be a chemist. And it's so exciting now because I'm seeing these boys giving back to their culture. We're working together to raise money to build a school in Gabriel's village. They're, they're so remarkable. It came from a culture that's a thousand years behind us. And they're told they had to be on their own in two months after they arrived, and they did it. And they continue to grow thanks to the love of a woman they call Mama Rita. I never thought, you know, at this point in my life that I would be <laughs> becoming a mother again. But that's what she's become to over 400 young men who are lost no more. She opened her heart to love me and to love the other lost boy, and I call her my mom because she changed my life in so many ways.